Is an introduction really necessary? channel it's been a bit it's been a while man um yo it's a beautiful thursday also you know we're coming in episode 11 is coming right up and you know what to do subscribe like tell your friends and uh yeah man it's been amazing um i don't know shout out for everybody who's been watching the last video episode 10 with Lawrence Lynnett has been doing great also checking out the last videos also has been amazing check like the numbers are crazy I did say we're still very close to 1k views um, on the video, so that is also coming up. Maybe the 1k will be celebrating that 1k views right there. But today, man, I wanted to um, clear something up. You know, I've always felt like people think this 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 entire channel and my channel in general is basically um, a podcast of some sort, but it's not, it really isn't. I just have my friends and we're hanging out and we're chilling, we have a conversation, but today, um, I, I miss taking a video alone. I miss making a video alone where I'm just having a conversation with you guys. And yeah, man, that's what we're gonna do. So for this video, um, I read a tweet somewhere <laughs> uh, on the TL like this past week, and they were talking about psychic etiquette. You know, so for this this particular video, we're gonna be discussing what is a side check. Uh, it's gonna be like a two part series. Um, we're gonna do side check and side niggas. The next video is gonna be on side niggas, but this one is gonna be very short and straight to the point as we talk about side checks, right? So maybe you're a side check, maybe you've been a side check, maybe your friend of a friend has been a side check. I don't know, but bring them in. So we're gonna talk about side check etiquette, right? So basically, side check etiquette is how. Um, a side chick is supposed to act in relationships or in a space where <laughs> where they find themselves as side chicks, you know, like how are you supposed to act, you know, because how, how are you, what's the expectation, you know, what's the expectation for you, we live in Lizzo, right? you're supposed to act a certain way, right, so I don't know, and I'm going to break it down, because, you know, for you to hold it down as a true side chick, you have to have rules, man, the rules of engagement, you know, and obviously you are some number three or number two in some weird relationship uh, space, but we're going to break it down today. So, uh, Eben Dictionary describes a side chick as the other woman, also known as the mistress, uh, who is a female that is neither a man's wife or girlfriend, who has relations with the male while he is, well, well, while he's in, while he's in another uh, serious relationship. Basically, you're my quite pain, right? Yeah. Um, I have a script, you know, writing content, I prepared this thing, but yeah, so basically that's what a side chick is, basically you are, you're a dog, you're like, you're a side, you're like, it comes from, we're eating, you know, like a full main meal, and there's like a, a side, you know, there's like a mini side plate where you're eating, you're still eating from the main, your main meal is here, but like, that is a side and having your meal, you know, just a filler, yes. So basically, these are the rules that I could come up with. The number one rule, man. The number one rule is, I'm gonna do 10, right? <laughs> the number one rule is very, very easy. Number one rule is you have to keep the secret, guys. And I know people don't do this. People are like, oh, you know, like they, they, you know you are at the side, but you go and tell your friends about it. Oh, come on, let you in. You know, ugh, I'm the side, or we have a thing, yeah. And I know it's not even like that, but the most important rule, guys, number one rule keep the secret. You're supposed to, shh, you know. And then, number two is you're not supposed to have expectations. Do not have expectations, because basically, you know, this person has a main person, either his wife or actual girlfriend, and you are like a side. 
You have to dollar what you must stay on the side. Respect the main, you know, respect the main for what he is. Maybe something happens, a freak of nature, I don't know. You know, something comes up. Maybe you know that happens and I don't know, the main dies. Maybe you level up. I don't know. But don't have expectations also as to what might become of the relationship. If you get into an agreement like that, you have to keep it down. I had a friend of mine who had an actual contract. This happens, guys. Obama and a friend of mine was dating someone and wasn't even actually dating. He was a side nigga. But basically, there was a contract where he had to understand that he'll never be anything more than that. Because I know that it happens when um, you guys like each other and it's never actually happened. You know, like you've never been in the space to actually date or you don't like each other enough to date, like actually get into an actual relationship. So yeah, don't have expectations, nigga. Like, don't have expectations at all. That was number two. Number three is you can go public. You cannot go public. This means no PDA. This means no posts. This means nothing. You know, you're not supposed to be posting your site. Like, like if you were sighted somebody, you're not supposed to do that. This is all site etiquette, guys. This is why people get caught. Like, why are you risking everything? If you're enjoying all that is happening, why are you even doing this? So you can't go public. That's number three. That's number three. Remember, if you have more rules, you can put it out in the comments so that I can interact with you guys later. But yeah. Number four, you're supposed to stay undercover 007. You know, if this nigga gives you seven orgasms, you're supposed to keep that undercover on the DL. On the DL, guys. You're supposed to basically pretend you don't even know this guy. Even if you do, you're supposed to keep your cover. Let's say you have a cover, I say you're my cousin. <laughs> Most niggas say this. I say you're my cousin or, yeah, or something. Or my sister's friend or a childhood friend. You are supposed to stay a childhood friend. Dala, what you must, you have to stay in there. So that's number four, man. You have to stay undercover, right? You can't go public at number three. And number four is stay undercover. So at number five, you have to know the mandate of the relationship, right? And like at the beginning of everything, we describe like, I am very intentional. I've said this in my video. Like you were supposed to say this. You have to know what is happening in the relationship. Like what are the plans? Are we just here for the sex? Or are you an emotional, um, I don't know, pillow for me? Are you here to like support what the other person is not doing, right? Because you, you guys have a mandate. I don't know how, how you guys agree to do Like you agree to different things. But yeah, you agree to do different things. Like you have, you have an agreement. Okay, fine. I'll do your dishes and whatever. And you have great sex and that's that. Or we can cuddle, which is another level. You know, like, so you gotta know the mandate of the relationship. What's the plan? Is the plan to eventually become the main or whatever? And also, let me ask you this. <laughs> How do you not know? Like, how do you feel yeah, becoming a main of someone you was a, you were like a side for? I don't know how you guys do that. I don't know. How to, but anyway, we'll talk about side niggas later, but this is just for you lady. How do you even do that? But anyway, yeah, that's number, <laughs> number five. Number six, number six is don't self, don't don't sulk. It's got there for dog. You know, like, go for this and this with this, and then you are gonna become a problem. So I'm very serious, guys. I'm very serious. God damn, fine. Like, it's already enough that I'm getting from the main girlfriend or the wife. You know, like, if I want, obviously, if we have an agreement that's sexual and we meet up, and obviously the mandate is for sex, then don't play hard to get. You know what I want. You know what we agreed on. Let's do it. Right? I'm just saying, and number seven, guys, yo, number seven is very important. No drama. You can't be causing drama while I'm avoiding other things. Like people have different reasons for cheating, obviously, or having sighted. So you can be my other drama. This is not drama island, guys. This is not, you're not gonna, yo, you're not gonna become another problem. Can be a kinga on top of any kinga. Yes. Pretty, you're like, yo, 
Please, can be no drama. Oh, you you took a while to respond to my text or whatever. You know, like you already know the person you you're with or a person you're messing around with. So you're not supposed to be dramatic at all. No drama. So it becomes a safe space. You know, if you're enjoying this space, I also have to enjoy this space, and that means no drama for me or for me, right? And then number eight, guys, is no dependency. Yo, guys, dependency is a business. It's horrible. It happens a lot in relationships where people are very dependent on other people. Like, I'm, a, I'm very dependent on my person. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, very, very dependent. You know, you're supposed to... There's that thing. You have companionship and whatever. So for you to not complicate things, to avoid everything. This is where most, most people... This is where most psychics fail. It's like, oh my god, I like you now. I enjoy spending time with you. Oh, I miss... Oh, that is... That is, we don't do that here. We don't. No dependency to avoid complications. No dependency at all, right? And number nine, you will support very, very important, guys. Very, very important. Stay here of the main chick. You're supposed to stay away, guys. Stay away. De depending on how close you guys are, because most men are, yo, most niggas are very tough. There's people who will date you. And your cousin, like your cousin, your cousin is like the side or the friend, you know. But in a regular setting, a normal setting, my service standards, you know, there by my service, they just going in. You're supposed to stay here, very clear, stay far, fresh, you know. This person must not even suspect for a minute. You're also just even entertain her energy at all, right? Stay clear of the main chick. So basically, this is all the expectations from. Guys, it's for me, it's for me, to you guys. I'm just giving you all this wisdom, you know. And number 10, you're not supposed to leave any evidence. Fuck off. From chats, you know, from chats, you can keep your chats because you're a chick. Like, no, nobody goes through your phone or whatever, but no evidence at all. You're not taking pictures together, even if we go out on trips, dude. Don't even, don't even take a, my ear, because girlfriends know this. My girlfriend can't see like an ear. You know, can see the ah, this ear, right? Or like a combination of clothes I bought this for him, you know. No evidence at all. If you're on a trip, do like the slave queens do. Do this, like just you move, you check in location, and we know, okay, you've gone to the next, you've gone somewhere with someone, but you don't know. There's someone who does this well on my TL, and she's very, very crazy. Shout out to her, the princess of violence. <laughs> But basically that's that man, then those were 10 for me. 10 rules of engagement if you were a psychic. Psychic etiquette. Basically that's that for me. Anyway, I have one last important one. Don't pop my pimples, bro. My girl counted my pimples. Don't do that. Please don't count. Please. Please don't pop my pimples. Let me just see girls when they get comfortable, it's like, oh my girlfriend they went to a fella. But I'm only chain. Don't do that. Pretty please. But anyway, coming up next is part two. And we're going to be talking about side nigga etiquette. Thank you so much for watching again. Keep on subscribing. Keep on loving the channel. I tried to do something different right now because I didn't want, uh, I did say my content can change whatever and I could do whatever. This is why I love YouTube. Nobody tells me to do whatever they, like, you know, nobody controls me. I decide what I want to talk about and what I want to get into. So do that. Subscribe, like, tell your friends to your friends. You're close to 500. Come on. I wish by the time I drop this video, we're at 500 at least, or at least in the first 100 views, we're past 500. Shout out to you for watching. Connect yourself as where it's at. And those were the rules of engagement. Peace out.